All right, welcome back. So it's now cut. And one little trick I have learned from doing, after doing the other side is, cut a nice little, cut the bottom corner of your parting plane off the whole way. It's a nice little bevel. And what that does is the fuselage kind of has a little bit of a negative draft on, the, on that side. So that's one reason why I cut it in half a little bit down here instead of up here. But um, because it twists a little bit, especially here towards the back, if you leave it straight without that, that bevel, it hits the, the parting board, doesn't fit nice and tight up against it. So um, take this one and sweep the dust off of it. We'll see how she fits. Which she fits extremely well. Let's uh, take this thing off the tripod. We'll drag over there and give you boys and girls a, a closer look. See here towards the back, nice and tight. A little loose here, but not too bad. But it's actually touching right there loose again and then it touches up against here again so what I'll do is I'll just take my sharpie and I'll just run through there and I'll adjust these areas with probably the belt sander until I can get a nice tight fit all the way across and use as little bit of body filler as possible just to if I can get out of having to sand I'm all up for that so um here you can see, I finished this up, just put some body filler in there, went over it with 220 grit paper, make sure it's nice and smooth. And since this is all going to be covered by the vertical fins anyway, not too worried about making that look perfect. If it's got a little bit of pinholes or whatever, whatever, it'll get covered up. See here coming along the back side on this other parting board, body fillers here. I put blue tape again on the fuselage just to save myself some hassle. It, uh, it seems to peel off. I, in uh, hindsight, I probably should have put a, a bead of, like a coat of wax, mold release wax on there to make it even easier to come off. Especially should have done it there just because of the shape of that one. But, um, yep, here we are. Getting close to starting to mold the first section of the fuselage. Again, this thing's going to be in multiple sections just because of its odd shape and all. This will be back in one portion of it. From here forward is all going to be another. The, uh, the bottom I'm actually going to try and do in one single piece. I don't think it's going to, I don't think I'm going to be able to possibly do it, but I'm going to try. The only difference is that won't be included. The inlets here, they'll be molded separately. Um, and I've got a nifty little idea I'm thinking it'll probably work really well for making the weather slide in and out really, really easily. We'll see if that actually works or not. And uh, then over here on this front fuselage cone, or the nose section where uh, all these blisters are there's no way I can mold this fuselage with these blisters in place because these things are just gonna lock it solid in there and you'll never get this thing out without destroying it and uh, so what I'll do is when I take this parting board that runs right across the bottom and I get the top half molded I'll take another parting board and I'll run it right down this panel on seam right here and that'll conceal the seam within the panel line. If anything, the panel line will become a little bit bigger. And uh, this whole section down to the bottom center of the fuselage, I'll mold separately. But there we go. One step closer. And uh, like I said, 15 molds done, 15 to go. So we're halfway there. And the sad part is most of those 15 molds I don't even have plugs for yet. <laughs> so, every time I think I'm getting closer to having this thing going this year, I realize I got a long way to go. <laughs> Bob knows what I'm talking about. One step closer, three steps back, as they say. Or in the home boat world, 90% there, 90% to go. <laughs> but uh, until next time, which maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, we'll see. I might mold this thing tomorrow, but uh, we'll see. Try and get these parting boards done, get it waxed and PVA in the morning, start laying up a fuselage in the afternoon. So uh, until next time, you ladies and gentlemen, have a great night, and we'll see you in the shop.